They say that the devil is in the details and when programming ESP32 using C programming, a single miss semicolon could be that devilish detail. Today we'll learn how we can use our friendly neighborhood programming language MicroPython in order to program this ESP32. So let's get started. Now what is MicroPython? If you're a bit friendly with programming languages, you might know what Python is. MicroPython is just a version of Python that is designed to run on small, inexpensive and low power microcontroller. So let's go over the materials we will require for this project. An ESP32, a USB cable. So there are four steps in running MicroPython on any ESP32 microcontroller. The first being installing the ESP tool. The second step is downloading the MicroPython firmware. The third step is erasing the ESP32's memory. And the fourth step is flashing the MicroPython firmware. Okay, so quick question for all of you guys, who invented the programming language MicroPython? Let us know in the comment section. And now let's just move on to our first step. So you need to go to the website and download the latest version of Python and install it. After that is complete, open the command prompt and write this command. This will install the ESP tool which will be used to erase and flash new firmware in ESP32's memory. Next, you need to write another command. VIP install setup tools. So this is basically requirement for ESP tool to work. To verify that your installation has been properly done, write this command. And this will show you all the things you can do with this tool and all the different options. And this means ESP32 is installed correctly. Let's move on the second step. Loading the firmware. To download firmware for USB32, you need to go to this website and download its latest stable version. Next, move on to the third step, which is erasing the memory of USB32. So, first thing you need to do is connect your USB32 to your PC using USB cable. Hold the boot flash button and run this command on the command prompt. When erasing process starts, release the button. Now you can see it is flashing COM X or whatever my COM port is. So, you will know from here you need to remember that because it will be very useful and the flash memory is erased once that is done we will move on to put our new micro python firmware on the board which is our first go to the folder in which you have downloaded your firmware for me it's downloads so i'll type cd downloads write this command on your command prompt okay so in the third step i told you to remember the com port number Replace the specific COM port name with the serial port here. So we'll write that. Now go to your download folder and copy the name of your file which is your flash firmware file. Basically delete this old one and add that to your command and that's it. Press enter while pressing the boot button. And if this message comes, you know that your firmware is flashed onto ESP32 the Arduino lab for MicroPython from this link given in the description. Install the IDE, select your COM port, connect the ESP32 microcontroller, create a new file and choose your board as storage. Copy and paste this code and run it. So you can see the LED is blinking which means our project is successful. Okay, so you can even code more projects like building yourself an ESP32 web server or controlling a server motor. You can try that and let me know in the comment section. If you want to read a complete informative blog about this project video, the link is in the description. You can check it out. If you like our content, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.